Now this little thing is dedicated to our friends, the high energy particle physicists. Because you got to really feel sorry for them. Okay? Because we're talking about little tiny, tiny particles. Little tiny things. And the only way you can learn about them, well, basically one of the only ways, is to shoot other things at them. Whether you shoot light at them in the form of photons or shoot other particles at them and stuff like that. You can only learn about these little particles. Well, just about uh, the only way to learn about it is by shooting other particles at them. Okay, sometimes you have to even create them by smashing things together. So, poor high energy particle physicists, really what they're doing is they're taking one particle and smashing into another one to see what's going on, right? And so in this case, you have the observer, right, doing their experiment by like smacking and knocking uh, their experiment silly every time. So let's see what happens. This is like, um, you know, going into a, a room with a chandelier and learning about the chandelier with a baseball bat. Okay? I do not have a budget for chandeliers, so I have a nice um, pinata here. So that's what we're going to go with. Alright? So watch this. Here we go. We've got to get ready. We've got to be blindfolded. Bam! See? I'm blindfolded now. Alright, so here I am. I have my, uh, my observation, right? This bat's my observation. And I can observe everything in front of me with it. See, clearly there's no particle in the room. All right, so that's like one experiment. All right, then I can do another experiment. All right, we do another experiment here. And you send in the particle, boom, yeah. And you get, and you can do an experiment, and I almost took off my head. That's awesome. You do an experiment on the particle, here we go. All right, and so you totally knock the dickens out of your particle with uh, your experiment. Come in. So I can do another time, and you just like, boom, yeah. And apparently we have a very solid part of it, but you can see it's starting to get damaged. So you can just knock this thing all over the place, right, and do experiments on it, and it's really sad. Eventually you destroy your particle, and that's really sad. So we have detected our particle. Unfortunately, it's in kind of sad shape, all right? And that happens in multi-particle, multi-body uh, situation. So when you have several particles involved in each other and you do an experiment observation with several particles, what's called irreversible, right? You can't get this particle back. However, there's something, that one more little thing to keep involved with quantum mechanics, kind of fun, is that uh, as, uh, as one uh, interesting physics professor once commented, um, you can't write your name on an electron, okay? What does that mean? Well, that means all electrons are the same, okay, for the most part. Like if you get an electron, you can kind of put it in the same state that you had another one. So uh, even though this particle is gone by the wayside, I can always bring in a new one, right? And it'd be exactly the same, all right? Well, and you could make it exactly the same. In real life, in our sizes, it doesn't work. I'm sure this pinata is slightly different than the other one. But when you get down to particles, all electrons, right? You can't label an electron and say that one is different than all the others, okay? So that's yet another little side note thing. But what I want you to take away with here, okay, is two things. First off, we cannot determine reality by our observations. Yes, we change reality by observing. We change the fact that something has two possible states, okay, and we observe it and it'll snap into one of those states, okay? It doesn't mean that we can make it go into a third state by looking at it. No, we're just finding out what state, uh, we're checking on it, and then it's, that's in a state, and every time we check on it from then on out, it's still that state, okay? So that's important to get. And the other little fun toy is I just want to show what high energy physicists have to deal with with their particles to basically really investigate things. Half the time, they just knock the snot out of whatever they're taking a look at, and that's how they learn about it, which is also kind of fun. So there you go. See you next time. After credits. Eventually, you get to destroy. Ah, right, there we go. We killed the particle. That's awesome. Destroyed particle. Howdy.